Basement, basement, basement. It's basement all the way down. In the Johnson household, Anastasia is stuck in their basement and making noise. In Anastasia's basement, Cosmo has stumbled across eels that she's keeping captive there. Will he stick his paw into her plot? And finally, the eel creation myth. Did they devour the sun and was it left out of the Old Testament? This is Buttercups and Moonbeams, episode 8. Slippery, slimy sea snakes. Got it. Yes. Hey, good morning, Cosmo. Hey, uh, how you doing, kid? It's been uh, it's a long night last night. I, I don't know. I felt great after playing so much war, you know. Yeah, I just well, I, I slept uh, like a baby. You know, I had to, I had to, I didn't know those cat doors doubled as a as a doggy door over at the neighbor's house, but uh, you know, I got out of there real quick after finding some uh, important information and friends. Some important information? Yeah. She, you know, she's got eels down there, you know. Eels? Yeah. There's whole tanks of them. They're just sitting there. They're starving over there. They're dying over there, man. Like the the the, the snakes of the sea eels? Yeah, you could call them the snakes of the sea, and like maybe the, 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 the slimy snakes of the sea. You eels? could call them the slimy snakes of the sea. I mean, like the know. squeaky slimy snakes yeah, of the sea. You could call them the squeaky slimy snakes of the sea for sure. Yeah, that's 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 the one. You're thinking of the right ones there. That's incredible. I didn't know that Mr. Doe had those. Yeah, Mr. Doe must have a lot of things we don't know about. Yeah, well, I suppose every man has his secrets, right? That's true. Uh, not that I would know about that, you know. It doesn't oh, right, you're not a man. Take one to know. Uh, that's listen. That's just beyond the point here. Um, uh, you know, maybe I do have secrets, okay? And and I'm not I'm not self conscious of the fact fact that I'm not a man, but I still have like oh. responsibilities and, and and do things like I am. I mean, right? I mean, you have opposable listen, thumbs, right? Uh, can we stop talking about this, okay? Listen, I just wanna I just wanna do something, okay? I've okay. been sitting in this house and I know something's up. I want to be a man about it, all right? I'm just a dog, but I know I can do something. I know that cat is up to no good, and I don't know where she is right now. Well, I support you whatever you identify as, Cosmo. Listen, kid, uh, I think I'm going to go out today. I'm going to... I didn't know eels could talk, you know? I think uh, I think this goes a bit deeper than I thought it would. Yeah, I mean, I suppose dogs often normally can't talk too, right? But you can. Yeah, but... Uh, so it would make sense that there are other creatures that, of, of the day, of the night, would. of the land, yeah. of the sea that can also speak in words which humans are able to comprehend and understand, and... It's a very... It's a very uh, astute observation there, kid. Thank you. Listen, I'm, I think I'm going to go see if there's other eels out there. You know, maybe maybe I can get a few friends. You know, getting friends on the street has always been a plus. So uh, if there's something sneaky going on in the neighbor's house, I'm going to need to find someone else that, that knows what's sense. going on. I mean, I've never really thought about it, but, I mean, you're such a special dog, Cosmo. I guess that you're really – it's really hard for you to find community, right? Uh, maybe, but, uh, you know, other dogs, they're, they're not like the humans. You know, humans, they, 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 they smoke, they have a good time, they gamble, and, you know, at, at times they commit arson for money. And, you know, those are things that I enjoy, not the last one, legally speaking. But, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to find a, a good community. Maybe I'll – I like those eels, though. Maybe I'll find something. Okay. I'll see you around, kid. I'm going out for the day. Hey, uh, honey, I heard some weird scraping sounds coming from the basement. Uh, uh, Grace, I don't know what you expect me to expect me to do about that. I mean, I can I can I can go take a look, but uh, you know, this house maybe maybe it's just a house sound, you know, creaky wood or a or a, just a strange creature, you know, house d- typical house sounds uh, that you're gonna find. A, s- a strange creature, you say? Well, you know, you never know what you're gonna find. I mean, you, you never know. You know, in some in some of the in some of the talkies, they've always some of those scary talkies, as they're called. They've got a, you know, creepy crawlies that roam around. You know, large large wait large beetles and other sort sea of sea snakes. The, the hell is a sea snake? Slimy sea sea snakes. Oh, slimy sea snakes. Why didn't you Why Squeaky didn't you say so? slimy sea snakes. Grace, don't you dare. Now you're starting to freak me out a little bit. I'm scared to say. Maybe maybe I should go take a look down in we the basement. We have a child in this household. I don't know if he can stay here until we solve the squeaky slimy sea snake vicious problem. No, it's, o- it's okay, Mom. I'm a man. I have opposable thumbs. See, see, this is no Are Grace. Are you putting these ideas in his head? He is a little boy. Look well, at listen, his listen, Grace. If if, if Timmy's cheeks. ever become you know gonna become a man, he has to like me be really. Really adept at at housework, you this know. It's starting and so, to sound like trash Well, okay, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, Timmy, here's what here's what you're gonna do. You and your old man. This is actually gonna be a bonding moment. Okay, we're gonna I'm gonna take you down to the basement. I'm gonna show you how it's done. Okay, Grace. Oh, we're gonna, like with the sheep guts. Like with Timmy. I guess. Listen, Timmy. Okay, I told your mother. I guess she wasn't supposed to know, but the, the game's out. Okay, we got it. We got to be a little more quiet about the sheep guts from here on out. Okay, I think. It, what are you? about is it something to do with the suspicious sea snakes oh yeah we're just coming up with a game plan uh of how to how to how to come at it you know just a just a nice father-son game plan okay listen you know i've seen 
seen some sea snakes in my day, and I always recommend a very big net. You know, they're known for power and murder ray guns. Them fancy doohickeys. You know, the ones that point at the sun and make it go black and crawling with snakes, and the ones that point at the moon and make it glow as it explodes, and the lava hits earth and can hit people, and then they hit our little Timmy! Uh, Dad, I think maybe there was something in the meatloaf last night. Yeah, Grace, I think you're panicking a little bit. You've been reading too much of that HG, 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 H Creep Love Cosmopolitan. HG. The co- that's right, Timmy. The Cosmopolitan. Yeah? Right. The nebbish one. Okay, Timmy, so before you go down there, I want to, I want to, we've got here your tool cannon. I want to make sure you're well acquainted with all these various items, because you never know what you're going to need down there. So, uh, we got here a hammer. Is that shaving cream? Yeah. Okay. So, Timmy, sometimes you're sometimes you know you're gonna get a bit of a stink on, and you're gonna you're gonna get all sweaty, and it's gonna get caught in your in your hairs. You know, you could be sprouting every now and again, and sometimes you just gotta you just gotta lather some cream and take this here. This is what we call uh, this is just a typical knife. Just uh, just start scraping some of the hair off. You know, it allows oh for easier. Are you teaching me how to shave, Dad? This has been my dream for so long. Yeah. Now, now, Timmy, you're gonna you're gonna cut yourself. Now, you might notice that your dad. Uh, has very very rough leather like skin, and that's because your 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 dad will well, at least when I was growing up, I was always taught to at least intentionally cut your own face when you're shaving, at least in a couple places. Wow! Uh, so that man. you know, in case any you know, in case you're in the war and you ever got shot there, the skin would be so tough that you know no no bullet could could get through. Yeah, you're just you know? being proactive. I, I it totally makes sense. Yeah, to me. it's called forward thinking, and so when the next war comes to me, you're gonna want to be prepared in case a bullet ever grazes this small part of your face. Oh my God, the boots on the ground. The the, the it's just exactly great. Okay. So that's that's the purpose of the shaving cream. So you got that. You got the hammer in case you need to knock down some walls. Now some of these are load bearing walls, Timmy. So just try to try to work around those. But you you'll figure out what those are. I don't need to explain that to you. Uh, so this here we've got a screwdriver. Uh, and then you've got your screw steering wheel to help you drive the screwdriver. Wow, is there a shift too? What's up? Is there a shift too? A screw shift? With a screw, a screw shift? Yeah, the screw clutch. Here's the screw brake and the screw accelerator, just in case you want to screw things faster or slower. I think I'm gonna try to screw slower. That's 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 fair, Timmy. Your old your old man tends to. I tend to be a pretty quick screwer, but uh, so maybe you know maybe you can be, maybe you can break the cycle. But um, anyway, so that should be enough. You've got your shaving cream. You've got this, this, and that. Um, here's one of those things with the bubble in it, you know, in case you need to see if the basement is level. If the basement's straight, you mean? The basement's straight. Just check that out. Um, yep. And so but, um, you'll go down there. You'll yeah. find any noises. Ooh. Okay. You see any various see sludges enough. or strange creatures that maybe have. Oh fuck! I'm in this fucking safe. Please, a measly can of tuna. It doesn't even need to be fresh. It can be from the back of the pantry. Please, anything. Get me out hey, of Dad, this I fucking something thing. Down here. Who's oh, yeah, there? Uh, I'll Timmy, kill you. Yeah, I'll cut you uh, with my clothes. What, what, what I'll, you, I'll you drink your blood like I drink smoothies. I don't know. It, it sounds like a, like a cat in a blender. Cat in a blender. Oh. They're going to blend me, I see. Yeah, oh. Reminds me of the war, Timmy. The war, he says. An American. It'll be he in the blender. I bet he'll I'll chop him up with his little, I bet his leathery skin as he's an American, and it'll go in the blender, and I'll maybe I'll put a sprig of mint in there, Well, you know, okay, Timmy, once you, once you start uh, triangulating that noise, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take that hammer and just start hitting it really loud on every surface sort of in the area, so to sort of see if that drowns out the noise. Like, sometimes when you hit stuff with a hammer enough, it stops, you know, like the sheep, for example, in case, like, one of them, one of them didn't survive, or one of them, sorry, one of them did survive the... The, the initial, uh, the initial impact. So just do what I taught you. Just start banging around. Okay, this 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 little this little post has a has a big X on it. That's fine if I if yeah. I that, it really the X hard? is for the X means hit the post. The oh, big red X. That's X marks the spot. What are they doing? They're probably right, preparing the Got blender it. for me. I cannot let them take me. I would rather take a cyanide pill. Oh God, no! I thought I had one hidden between my paw beans, <laughs> but it was just another paw bean. <laughs> I am cursed with being adorable. Uh, oh, Grace, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just tinkering around with it. No, nothing wrong. Timmy, I think something went wrong. You're gonna have to hit more of those load. You're gonna have to hit more of those posts with the X on them, okay? Yeah, there, there are, there are quite a few. Quite I'll a just, few. Yeah, just keep going at that. Yeah, Grace is, Grace is. I, I think, you know, we gotta hit all. Of them. Huh. If you hit one, it doesn't complete the process. So. Oh, my <laughs> arm's getting tired. My azaleas. Dad, you know, I've, I've, I've hit all these posts and nothing's happening, and I can't figure out where the sound's coming from. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm just really tired. They'll never get me. Fools. Fools! They should have never messed with Cat Mother Russia. 
Well, well, Timmy, you know how you know how reticent your your dad, your old man, is to ask for help. But uh, I think we're gonna have to. I think we're gonna have to call in a professional on this. You know, I'm I I feel like it would be sort of beneath me to go down there and, and deal. With, I mean, of course, I could take care of it, but like you know, I this you know I wanna wanna bring in a professional to maybe teach you how to how yeah. to deal with it. So why don't we why don't we just call why don't we just call a like a hand you know a handyman to come in here and uh, and take a look at things. Maybe that'll sort it out. Of course, I mean it would literally be beneath you because it's the basement. But that's true. I'd have to walk downstairs. You it's would very you would have to walk. You'd have to to make an effort. I'm 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 sorry, Dad. I know I know you're probably disappointed that I wasn't able to do this myself. Ah, Timmy, Timmy, don't worry about it. You know you've you've been ever since you've been helping me with the the sheep gut racket which again you cannot speak to your mom about no under, that would be nebbish under that's that would be nobbish that's correct under any under any circumstance so uh all right but let's 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 bring up the uh let's bring here i've got the thank god i've got this old this old white pages um there but they're stained because they're so old so they've gotten really yellow but uh, let me just let me just check this book okay here we go so oh it looks like we got it we got a handyman number right here hold on your old man's gonna make a phone call and we'll get this squared up. All right, Timmy. All right, thanks, Dad. Gladys extermination. You find them, we don't feed them. Ha <laughs> Gladys speaking. Uh, hi. This is uh, this is Mr. Johnson of the Johnson household. We're uh, we're currently experiencing a strange noise. Uh, my wife has a hunch that it could be some sort of strange creature, though I think you're gonna find just your, your typical sludge and slime, slime down there. But regardless, I you know we want to. You've wanna, identified we, the sludge and slime. Uh no, that's just a that's just a hunch we're operating with right now. That's good why we're calling you. We want to see if you can take a look down there and uh, you know just just see what I, you find. I do hope it's not sea snakes. You know, they once ate the moon and then drank the sun, and the sky was no more. Oh, oh, Gladys Exterminator, you don't have to remind me. It's just my, my, my spine shivers just thinking about those slippery, slimy sea snakes. Those sneaky, sturdy, smart, slippery, slimy sea snakes. Oh, God. Dad, you sound kind of snarky when you use those words. This Shut up, sounds Timmy. like an emergency. We'll be right over. James! <laughs> Gladys, who are you on the phone with? We have a customer. No, somebody called. Somebody called your goddamn extermination line. That's crazy. Let's not. Let's not dilly dally. Let's probably head over there and check out the situation. You know, we finally got a potential paying customer for our our thrive our our. We're not thriving, but our struggling business. Can We're we please get into the obnoxiously large bug-shaped mobile? It's parked next to the Wiener Schnitzel mobile. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll hop in the Beetle, and we'll we'll head right on over there. The Beetle. That's, yep, that's, that's correct. <laughs> one Beetle, two Beetle. No, there's just the one. We don't have the money. We can't afford a second one. I'd be glad as if this job goes well. We can uh, we can afford a second beetle, one for each of us. But uh, and, you know, let's not screw this up, okay? I'll sit in the back seat. I desire space from your negativity. You know, Gladys, as as much shit as I give you, that 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 really hurts me. But but that's all right. You know, maybe you know we've had a lot of differences over our our many business ventures. But you know, now that we finally have a customer, I I, I just. I, I think I think maybe this is this could be good for us. You know, this could be good for our relationship as 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 owner of various enterprises and the the only available worker uh, since this town has a very low unemployment rate, which is good, which is good for the town. Uh, but it unfortunately means that uh, that you are the only freelancer available at any given time. So. Meanwhile. Cosmo's heading down to the bar to see his old friend, Jeremy the Talking Rabbit. What information does he know? And, oh my, why are there so many talking critters? Hey, Jeremy, it's good to meet hey, you down Cosmo, at the, uh, the old dive. Can I help you do a, uh, apple teeny or maybe a, uh... Hey, uh, listen, listen, we're not here hey, to... Hey, me up. Uh, hey, wait, okay, I'll buy you up, Listen, right I know hey, you're a hey, rabbit, hey. but, uh... I thought you might know something about some eels. I, I don't want to celebrate and, and be drinking right now. I, I got some work to do. With these adorably floppy ears, you know, you hear a lot around town. Hey, can I get you fine furry creatures? Anything to drink? Um, uh, I'll have a whiskey. Neat. On the rocks. And my partner here, Hila Hila, have a, a, a seven up. Straight up on the rocks. Neat. Yeah, straight. No seven, only up. Uh, shaking. 
<laughs> not stirred. You never not would stirred. do stirred. That hey, would be, hey. that wouldn't be so, good. Uh, two drinks. I'll have that right out for y'all. Yeah, thank you very much. Listen, uh, I just wanted to know if you heard anything about some uh, some aquatic creatures. Um, I just made some friends, and I think uh, I think there could be a wider world out there. Well, uh, you know, I'm glad you met me here at this bar. You know, this bar is a direct connection to the sewers, which connects to the water treatment plant, which in turn connects to a separate set of sewers on the other side of town, which in turn connects to a separate water treatment plant, which in turn say, connects what are you to trying the to say? Uh, tank. It connects to the tank? What's the tank all about? What's the um, um, I don't want to let you in on too big a secret, but a uh, Neo Mafia community has a uh, stronghold there. However, I do not know how to get there. I w if we need a guide through the sewers. Hey, look at, there's a, there's a, is an ominous figure at the corner of the bar. Oh my god, there. an ominous figure. Hey, he's another animal, just like us. Hey, sir. I heard you was talking about the sewer entrance. <laughs> yeah, we would. Oh I'm... my god, Rat Matthew, Matthew, my old drinking buddy. Uh, you know this guy? Jeremy, how many, how many rodent years has it been? <laughs> at least seven. That's uh, a lot of, that's a lot of time in normal years. Wow, I can tell you that. Times have changed around here, buddy. We's cute now. <laughs> Hey, so Rathew, you think you can get us to uh, to the through the sewer system, through the you know the water facility, to the other sewer system, to the connected water facility, to Listen, the uh, we don't have to go tank. through the whole thing. I think he, he knows his way around town. Oh yeah, nobody no, nobody knows this way around the sewers better than Rathew. And there's no sewer creature better connected to the land and sea creatures than myself, my your your little rat friend. But it's not gonna be cheap to get you in and out. I'm well, gonna need some of that fine overworld cheese. You know, Rathew has been operating on dumpster and sewer cheese for plenty of years now, so I'm gonna need a nice fromage, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Rathew, were you extorting us for cheese? Do you remember what I did for you? D look at look at this hole in my fur. I took a bullet for you in 07. Jeremy, you don't think I appreciate your your service in the 07 incident, but hard times have fallen on Rathew, and repaying old debts just didn't gonna cut it. But I promise one thing, no matter what, Wrath you the rat will never snitch. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to give up my greatest possession. Cosmo, I'm sorry, but I gotta give up the pocket cheese. You'll be keeping that pocket cheese around for 15 rabbit years. You That's know, a lot of unspecified time for this, humans. I'll do anything for you, Cosmo. Let me reach into here. Oh, smells just like the day I bought it. Oh, what a nice... Oh, what a nice brie. A lot of, a lot of tones gone. I... The brie of fromage, I can't tell anymore. Rath, you hadn't felt that good since 07. Sorry, Jeremy, no offense. Do you see the bullet hole, Rath, you? You think I don't remember? Sorry. Do you see my listen, pain? Listen, listen, <laughs> listen. We're in a bar here. We got to keep our manners. All right, Jeremy, thank you for your help. I'll see you around. But for now, me and Rath, you have business going through the sewers. All right, you lead yeah. the way. I'll take good care of your canine friend, Jeremy. Any, you better wrap you or I'll come after you and I'll bring all the boys from 06. All right, so which way? Well, Cosmo, it's, it's going to seem a little illogical, but we're going to have to take five left turns in a row, okay? It all just, right. This, listen, you're going to have to trust me on this one. I well, know I, the sewers pretty well. I definitely trust you. I know I'm, rats are very trustworthy in my experience. But it's like, I, it's like I, a I hall of mirrors people. down here. Even still, what would, a, what would a canine with you want with some of those slippery sneeze snakes like them in the eel fan? Uh, you know, this is this, this is a long story. We should get walking, and then we'll I'll tell it on the way. So, uh, all right, first left. So the thing is, uh, I actually, uh, my neighbors, uh, I think they're up to something, and, and they trapped his eels. It's this, it's this Russian guy and this and this really Russian uh, this really Russian cat at a second left. Is this place? Ooh, a nice thing of sewage. Anyway, uh, yeah, and they, and they got this very uh, Russian cat, and I think she's up to no good. Uh, she she entrapped some eels that I. I, I, I fed and I think, you know, this might have something to do with it, so I just wanted to, wanted to know what's up. You're saying a, you're saying a, Russian, a Russian feline? If yeah, yeah, a Russian feline. Is this third left right here? Yeah, third, third left. This okay. one's, yeah, there's, we've got to watch out for the stop sign, so sometimes some roaches like to cross here. Oh, yeah, they no have one. the right of way. Yeah, so. they have the right of way. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. What would old Cosmo be doing with a, with a, with a Russian feline, you say? I, don't, I never heard of nothing like that, a Russian feline. Yeah, I never heard of it too, but they just popped up right on my front lawn. And I, I always had my suspicions, but, uh, you know, not to say that, you know, cats are suspicious or anything. I think no, but Russians are, sure. They're oh, they're yeah, yeah, of course, and, you know, I already had my suspicions. I think this, this cat's up to no good, and I, wanna, I just want to get some more information, get to lay the land, and then meet some eels. So the fourth right here? Fourth, oh, yeah, Cosmo, yeah. I told you to call, you step on the road. Oh, nah, okay. oh, sorry, man. That's nah, okay, about that. they, 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 they bang like the dozens. There'll be 30 more in a All week, right. don't even worry about it. 
Oh no, we got one of the babies. We're gonna get we walking before. Gotta, before yeah, we got, we better scram before. Let's scram. Let's get out of here. I told you, Cosmo. You gotta be careful in the sewers. Yeah, you have to do what you. Got. This is the fifth right, right here. Fifth, fifth left, Cosmo. Careful. Oh, oh I, see, this is why I'm not the rat like you. You know, you know, you're yeah. way around. That's you, that. No, you, you go the wrong way. That's Turtle Alley. There's a lot of turtles. Oh, down Turtle Alley down there. Those guys will fuck you up. You gotta be oh, really? really careful about that. Uh, make sure I don't take any rights. Oh, oh, there they go right I'm now. I'm coming There's, after you. All right, where, where are we at now, Ratty? <laughs> Oh, hello. Well, this is where this is where old Rathy. Rathy's got to get back to the bar, see if he can bum any more cheeses off of people. So yeah, no worries. Seems like your next stop. But be careful around the eels, okay? They're, they've got a lot of weird customs, so just try try to be sensitive. Try not to I'll, try not uh, to say any dumb shit. You know, I, I've been it's been years, but I think I can uh, I can whip out the old doggy paddle and uh, make my way. Uh, Thank we'll you. We'll see about that. Well, anyways, here's a small rat-sized hole that I'm gonna crawl through. I'll All right, I'll see you. I'll catch you later, yeah, Cosmo. I definitely can't fit through that hole because it's you know it's rat-sized. And God I'm willing, you'll never see me again. <laughs> so, you said your name was Cosmo, right? Yeah, my name's Cosmo. Okay, well, I, I'm sure since you're here, you're familiar with, with, with eel customs? I never heard of it. Uh, what's, uh, what can a man like me do to be polite? Well, a dog like you should ensure that, um, right. of course, your head is always tilted to the left and not to the right, but the right nostril is always enlarged larger than your left. Uh, right, okay, tilted to the right, not the... The left, I think I got it. Right, and that your center of gravity is always to the right and not to the left, but center. that your gravity of center is always to the left but not to the right, and oh. that your hairs are always slightly frizzy but not quite to the point of I, being curly. Okay. And of course, that you trim your facial hair only on the left I side of your face, shave. not in the center, and in the yeah. right side of your face. Okay, that, that's, you and know And of what? course, you know, brows are off limits. Some, just some things you should know. You, you know how we're, we're, we're slimy? Uh, yeah, yeah. But, but we're not slithery. Okay, I think I follow. Yeah, and, and, and we're slinky, but we're not sneaky. Okay, so you're saying don't be, you gotta be slinky, but you can't be sneaky while being slimy enough to, enough to not be slithery? Of course, but make sure that if you are slithery, then you have to incorporate the sneakiness. Uh, okay, so if I am slithery, but I don't have to be, as long as I'm not being sneaky, but if I am, I should be Well, sneaky. of course, but so long as no mucal membrane is involved. If mucal membranes get involved, then that's a different story right, altogether. Listen, listen you, may, you, may have, you may have seen it because my... My foot is not very soluble in water. It's got a lot of grease on it. So I think, I think I'll be in good standing with the slipperiness and the, and, the, and the greasiness and the sliminess. Okay, well, if it doesn't go well, uh, we can always prepare an eulogy. Johnny, you can't be... Oh, hello. Who's this fine dog gentleman who came I've, to my office? I found him out in the sewers, Don. He says he has something for you, including a... Uh, hey, I just, uh, I, I think I have some information about some meals, and I wanted to... Hello, my name's Cosmo, and, uh, I hope that I could break bread with you and make friends real quick. It piques my interest that a dog would come into the sewer all this way below the surface just to break bread with a don like me. It piques my interest very much. I hope, I hope you've been sufficiently briefed about, a uh, code of conduct here as eels. We, we need to make sure that... You are slimy and slithery enough, but not sneaky enough to be slimy and sneaky enough to be considered one of our own. Uh, do you understand, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Cosmo? It's, that's my name is Cosmo. Remember, no mucal membrane. No, I got it. I got it. Okay. I'm not. A, I'm not just any dog. You know. I got a lot of. I got a lot of grease on me, and I got a lot of foie on me. It's covered in slime. And, uh, Johnny, can you uh, take a sample of this man's fur? I want to see if he's if he's slimy enough to our liking. And uh, and if he is, then uh, we should uh, of course let him break bread with us and see if we can strike up a conversation. Uh, okay, Cosmo. Um, can you can you turn around? Uh, yeah. Well, he he is sufficiently oh. greasy, Don. Uh, thank you very much, Johnny. All right, I'd be excited to meet you. And see your proposal. See if we can uh, break break bread together. Uh, well, you see, uh, I got this neighbor, right, and and there's this there's this cat, a cat, you say. We've we've heard our suspicions about a a cat. Go on. Yeah, and, and uh, she, she's all about. I don't know what she's about, but she's nothing good. I'll tell you what. And uh, she's in prison, some eels down there in a basement. Well, this piques my interest very much. Should I, you uh, go, Don? Thank you. Uh, it seems like you've made my acquaintance very well. Uh, you've broken bread. Who came all the way to see me? And he brought a. He, he brought the. Very, 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 very astute of you to point that out, Johnny. Thank you, Don. I accept your offering, Cosmo. And, uh, I think we have a common enemy. Uh, well, tell me everything you know about this. Guy. All right. Well, uh, it all started uh, just a week ago. 
Cosmo had successfully broken bread with the eels. Meanwhile, at home, I doubt that these exterminators are a scam. They seem above board. Hey, Timmy, there's somebody. I think that that's the exterminators of the handy, the handy gentleman or whatever. So just, oh, just uh, hi, go on miss. and get that their front door. You look like an independent oh, contractor. Thank you. I haven't heard that in years. This is my son and greatest enemy, James. Okay, Gladys. Now, now, not time for introductions. Okay, we got work to do. All right. Kid, you seem like the man of the household. Why don't you direct us to where this, uh, where this, where this problem you got is going on? Oh, man, of this. Oh, I do have opposable thumbs. Right. Um. Yeah. Let, let me bring you to the basement. Um. And and we're, we're just we're hearing some kind of sounds there. My dad, I'm sure, can explain it better. Hey, Dad, the exterminator's here. Oh, hello, hello, sir. Good. Great to meet you. Great to meet an exterminator like yourself. But such a fine gentleman. Oh, thank you. I haven't heard that in years. Oh, what? The, oh, oh. Excuse me, excuse me. I I didn't know you had a. I didn't know you had this older woman coming in as like a. Is this like a thing you're doing with like the retirement home to like help, help like you know some of the older ladies get back on track? Oh no no this is this is my uh, this is my this is my mother and w mortal enemy Gladys and uh, no she she really takes care of most of the extermination business. I'm sort of a handler in a sense, even though this is not really an exciting criminal enterprise. It's just a, it's just a just a local extermination business. Anyways, Gladys, I'll I'll, I'll let you take it from here. I'll wow, you... Dad, it sounds just like a small business, just like our sheep gut side business. Tell me, tell me, what did I tell you about not saying? Oh, I God think damn. I bought your haggis last Tuesday. Oh wow, Dad, a loyal customer. Look at that. Oh wow, looks like the cuts out of the burger, but the the fucking he maybe sheep but the cuts. sheep's back in the bag. Oh God. Okay. Listen. Oh. So where's your slippery, slimy snake? Oh, problem? good. What have we called you here to do? Well, it's it's down in the basement. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll let y'all take a look. Timmy, why don't you go down with them and uh and uh help them? I mean, you you hit a bunch of hammers around in there, so you're pretty familiar yeah, with the basement at this point. Gladys, did you know that X marks a spot? Oh, my young exterminator protege, you have so much to Gladys, learn. Gladys, stop. We I told you stop. Trying to teach the youth an important lesson at every job you do. You're just here to, to do what you're called to do and get paid. This One doesn't have lesson. to be a coming-of-age moment where a younger individual meets an older woman and forms a bond about that sort of crosses generation and culture. You and know, I, ne I knew you never thought you could do this, but I'm glad that I could inspire you to overcome your childhood and learn how to be an exterminator despite the steepest of odds. You know, I'm sure there's some kind of moral to the story, but I'm going to not learn it right now. Um, Here, let me, let me take you all to the basement. So, you say you've hit a lot of these pipes. Yeah, yeah, and it, it, it sounds just, it still sounds like there's like a cat caught in a blunder somewhere and we don't know exactly what or why or, or where it's coming from. Oh, they've brought an old woman. They think they can soften the blender's blades so that it will not pulverize me. Oh, so did you hear, you hear meows then? Kind of in this like little scratching sound, kind of like a little bit of like a banging. I don't know, it's a little weird. Mm, pass me my hammer. One bang, two bang. Gladys, you're gonna have to hit it way harder Three than that, okay? Bang. You're not making any, you're not making any progress. Four bang, five bang. My Azalea! Oh, well, that's the hour they pay me for. James, can we go to get an egg cream? Gladys, I feel like we didn't really accomplish a whole lot here. You know, I think... You know, well, what, you know, the man in the house over here. What do you, what do you think, little? What do you think, little man? You think we've done a sufficient enough job? Uh, um, I, don't, I, I don't know. We, we, we can still hear the sound, and I just, I know my mom's a little freaked out. But oh wait, wait, I think it might be coming from, from over from the safe. But nobody's oh. been down there since last night. This how strange. Well, that's time, my little protege. The first lesson you should learn is to never work more than they bill you for. All right, yeah, no, actually, you know what, Gladys? For once, I agree with you on this. You're gonna have to pay up, kid. I can pay you in cheap guts. These egg creams don't come cheap, but neither do my midnight snacks. Wait, Gladys, are you serious? You're gonna take the sheep? I don't know what the conversion rate is to real money, but I, I feel like we can't sustain a struggling business on fucking organs of a mammal alone, okay? We can't sustain a struggling relationship on money alone either, James. I feel like I walked into something here. Ugh, the old lady left. They knew they would never get me. I haven't eaten an old lady since oh, Wait, wait. <laughs> wait, is that a gnawing sound I hear? Oh, my assistant, Rathu, is that you? Do you know how much 
how much reinforced steel I had to chew through to get you out of here. How do you even get yourself in a mess like this? You know, Ratu, sometimes it's possible to dream even too big. They tried to lure me out with an old woman. They tried to lure me out by banging on the pipes as if I would think it was some fun mauling game. But I knew. I knew to stay in here, stay in my safe. Speaking of... Want to chew through a few more inches of reinforced steel? Oh, Ratu's gonna need a grill after he... I, you, my teeth have getting chewed all the way down to the nub, you know. Oh, you want the grill, do you? Perhaps you would like something on that grill, like a nice slice of halloumi. You know, you, you know how to treat me well, Anastasia. Well, anyways, I have some information. That, that pesky dog... Seems like he knows too much. He's going down to visit the eels. Now, I don't know exactly what he'd want to do with the eels, but this can't be good. I don't know what he knows, but we gotta do something about this. You know, the eels are very hungry, and one of their favorite meals is canine. And, and lastly, Anastasia, I got, you, I got you some sewer tuna. It's kind of low quality, but I figure you, you... I don't know how long you've been in here, but it, you're probably pretty hungry at this point. So here you Why, go. Why, thank you, Rat. It's, it's not dead yet, but you're There's gonna have to take care of it. There's a reason I've never hunted you. Ooh, it's flopping around. <laughs> In cat years, that is. That was the last time I ate an old lady. That's only 14 cat years ago. Come on, let's go back to Boris's house. I have a piece of Russian cheese with your name on it. Oh, Anastasia, you know how to treat me well, but you're still living with that old commie fool. You know, he's uh. all, it's all part of a very large plan. A very large, eel-centric plan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough laughing. Let's get on with the cheese. Your boy's getting pretty hungry. I had to chew a lot of steel, as you know. So yeah. This was episode eight of Buttercups and Moonbeams, which releases every other Sunday in collaboration with Brandeis Television at Brandeis University in Waltham, Massachusetts. Timmy and Johnny the Eel were played by Omar Barash. Cosmo and the Eel Dawn were played by Avi Patel. Grace, Anastasia. Jeremy the Talking Rabbit and Gladys were all played by Andy Scheinbaum. Mr. Johnson, James, and Rathu were played by Paul Weir. Original theme song by Miles Goldstein. Directed and edited by me, Corey Brown. This episode produced by Joshua Lennon and Kaya Grisham. Oh, I think that's him coming through the doggy door right that now. A, that was a, a, a nice long swim. I haven't, ugh, I haven't, I haven't done a swim like that since 05. Oh, Cosmo, and doggy Cosmo, oh, yours. how'd you get so wet, Cosmo? Did oh, you my. get into the wreckage of the azaleas? Oh, it must have been Cosmo. Bad dog. Bad, bad dog. dog. Bad, bad dog. dog. Listen, let's ah, screw these guys. No, I gotta Co shake. Cosmo, don't you dare shake on me, buddy. You're wet. gonna no, be in big trouble, Cosmo. Wet, I gotta Cosmo. shake. <laughs> ah, 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 oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, Oh, hello. We were. Oh, hello. I hope a dog doesn't shake on the little German name. Oh, my God. Oh, no.